Modernity puts us in an interesting paradox. We are more connected than ever, but also often feel lonelier. We are filled with commitments and tasks, yet often feel ignored or undervalued by those we consider important. In the current landscape, we all want to feel important to our close circle, but often feel as though we are not as important to them as they are to us. Here, Stoicism and philosophy can offer valuable guidance. The Stoics teach us to find value within ourselves and not to rely solely on the recognition of others. But how can we apply these teachings in our daily lives to be more valued by those around us? This video explores effective strategies aligned with Stoicism and philosophy to gain priority in the lives of others and determine if these people have a genuine interest in us. It's important to note, this is not about manipulative strategies or tricks, but about a wise and authentic approach to building genuine high-value relationships. As the famous saying goes, show me your friends, and I'll tell you who you are. If you're not a priority for them, these people probably don't have a genuine and authentic interest in you. Within this ancient philosophy, we find principles to balance our needs and relationships. The essence is to be valuable without being needy. The first step to gaining priority in the lives of others is to create a sense of loss. When you are always available and respond immediately, People assume you'll always be there. In the fast-paced modern world, time is a precious resource, and Stoicism teaches us to give it its proper value. You should allow people to miss you and occasionally notice your absence. The Stoics remind us that we can't control what happens around us, but we can control how we respond. By valuing your time and attention, you become someone who respects themselves and others will start to see you as a valuable person. Don't be afraid to say no or not to respond immediately to requests. Practice the art of patience and let others value your time as much as you do. The art of cultivating patience is a skill that can enrich your life in countless ways. In the philosophy of Stoicism, we find the concept that patience is more than just a virtue. It's a vital force in a turbulent world of constant distractions and upheavals. Think of patience as a skill, an ability to remain stable and serene amidst chaos. By embracing tranquility, you become a beacon of stability, an example of composure in tumultuous times. This skill of calmly waiting without succumbing to the immediacy and pressures of the now does not imply passivity. On the contrary, it's an act of inner strength and emotional mastery. By practicing patience, you not only preserve yourself from the turbulence of emotions, but also project an image of confidence and resilience. It's as if you become an oasis of calm that attracts others, offering a refuge from the constant storm of everyday life. Furthermore, Patience directly influences how others perceive and value your presence. In a world where everyone is always rushing, those who know how to wait wisely stand out. You will be seen as someone who is not dominated by impatience and immediacy, but who ponders and acts with consideration. To become someone whose presence is valued and sought after, it's essential to start with yourself. Prioritizing yourself is not a selfish act. It's a necessary step to establish the value of your time and attention. By doing so, you teach others the importance of valuing not only themselves, but also the time and effort you offer. It's crucial to learn to say no occasionally. Constant availability can be interpreted as a lack of self-worth, leading others to assume that your time and attention are always available without the need for appreciation or recognition. In summary, practicing patience and valuing yourself are fundamental steps to being recognized and appreciated in any environment. By mastering these skills, you not only benefit yourself, but also provide others with an inspiring example of balance and resilience. The wisdom of the Stoics, like that of Seneca, offers us a valuable lesson on the importance of being masters of our own time. 
This philosophy encourages us to carefully reflect on how and with whom we spend our time, emphasizing the need to make deliberate and conscious choices. Seneca reminds us that time is a precious resource and managing it wisely is essential for a fulfilling and meaningful life. The ability to say no to others respectfully is a crucial aspect of this time management. It's not a matter of selfishness, but rather of self-respect and recognizing the value of our own time and needs. Epicurus, on the other hand, invites us to ponder freedom and self-control. His words resonate powerfully. No man is free who is not master of himself. This phrase underlines the idea that true freedom and autonomy arise from mastery over our own decisions and emotions. It's not just about controlling our external actions, but also governing our inner world, our thoughts, feelings, and reactions. Stoicism values living according to our principles and values, and this includes how we handle our time and energy. By choosing not to be always available, we demonstrate that we value our time and energy, thereby cultivating respect for ourselves and others. This mutual respect naturally leads others to prioritize us more in their lives. Therefore, understanding and applying these Stoic and Epicurean teachings can lead us to a more balanced and fulfilling life. By valuing our time and being selective in our commitments, we not only improve our own life, but also positively influence those around us. This is the essence of living with purpose and integrity, guided by principles that reflect our true self. The pursuit of becoming more important and a priority in the lives of others leads us to explore the art of mystery. Often there is a natural inclination to openly share our feelings, thoughts and aspirations with others. However, this practice of overexposure can paradoxically reduce the perception of our value. Humans are naturally drawn to the unknown and unexplored, valuing what seems rare or out of reach. If you are committed to your evolution, leave this phrase in the comments, I commit to myself and write today's date. To ensure it's not forgotten, let's continue. The Stoic teachings, which emphasize self-discipline and self-control, guide us to approach our interactions with a calculated reserve. Maintaining an air of mystery is not about hiding our true identity, but rather about revealing our essence gradually and thoughtfully. This strategy not only preserves our privacy, but also stimulates the curiosity and interest of others. When it comes to conversations and social interactions, opting for vaguer and less detailed responses about personal history or intimate secrets can be a wise approach. This doesn't mean being evasive or dishonest, but rather carefully choosing what to share and when to do it. In this way, you invite others to take a more active interest in your story, maintaining a continuous focus on yourself. By practicing this approach, you not only safeguard significant aspects of your life, but also create an environment where people feel motivated to learn more about you. This can lead to deeper and more meaningful interactions, where the gradual revelation of your personality and experiences happens naturally and authentically, increasing your importance and priority in the lives of others. Seneca's quote, Fortune favors the bold, resonates deeply when applied to the art of sharing personal information. In this context, boldness is not about reckless actions, but about the wisdom of knowing how much information to share and at what moment. There's a delicate balance between being open and reserved and the ability to navigate this duality can significantly increase your attractiveness and importance to others. The concept of maintaining an air of mystery, as addressed by Stoic philosophy, is a powerful tool. By doing so, you spark others' curiosity. People are naturally drawn to the unknown and the potential for discovery. When you leave room for others to wonder about aspects of your life, you become more interesting and attractive in their eyes. As Stoicism teaches, it's essential to focus on what is within our control. The amount of personal information we share undoubtedly falls into this category. 
By consciously controlling this aspect, you're not hiding, but choosing to share yourself in a strategic and thoughtful way. This practice allows you to reveal yourself gradually, maintaining others' interest and respect. Furthermore, it's important to remember that seeking constant approval from others can lead to dissatisfaction. By maintaining a bit of mystery, you allow others to value you for who you truly are, not just for what you choose to show. This can lead to more authentic and meaningful connections, where appreciation arises not from the amount of information shared, but from the quality of your essence and presence. Therefore, the true boldness lies in being strategic and deliberate regarding the sharing of personal information, thus maintaining a balance that enhances your importance and attraction to others. The idea of allowing others to invest in you is a powerful concept and a crucial step in the journey to becoming more important and a priority in their lives. This approach goes beyond ego. It touches on the fundamental human desire to feel valued and useful. Seneca, in his stoic wisdom, highlighted that people feel gratified when chosen to contribute to someone's life, thereby enriching their own experiences. Allowing others to contribute to your life can take many forms. It can be as simple as accepting a compliment with gratitude or acknowledging and valuing someone's assistance or advice. By doing this, you not only receive something valuable, but also provide others with the satisfaction of feeling appreciated and important. This creates a cycle of positivity and mutual respect where everyone involved benefits. This principle is in harmony with the stoic view of human interdependence. Our society is a complex web of relationships and interactions, and recognizing our mutual need for support and collaboration is vital. Stoicism teaches us that there is no weakness in asking for help or accepting support. On the contrary, these acts strengthen human connections and promote cooperation. By opening ourselves to receiving help, guidance, or even a gesture of kindness, we create a more profound and meaningful relationship dynamic. People feel more invested in our lives when their actions and contributions are acknowledged and valued. This, in turn, increases the likelihood of them considering us a priority in their lives. In summary, by allowing others to invest in you, you not only enrich your own life, but also provide others the joy and satisfaction of being part of something bigger. This mutual recognition and appreciation are key to building strong and lasting relationships where you become an important and prioritized person for others. If you're enjoying this, don't miss out on the opportunity. Acquire now the ebook Stoicism in the 21st Century ancient strategies for modern challenges and unlock your prosperity, abundance and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. Let's return to the core of Stoicism and talk about independence. An ancient Stoic, Epicurus, taught us that it's not what happens to you, but how you react that matters. Independence in Stoicism doesn't mean complete isolation from others, but rather autonomy and self-governance. It's the ability to make conscious decisions without overly depending on external approval or influence. Practicing independence is a crucial element in increasing your value and importance in the lives of others. Within Stoic philosophy, independence is not just a matter of physical or financial autonomy. It's primarily an independence of thought and action. This independence manifests in how you adhere to your own ethics and values, which in turn fosters respect and admiration from others. Being independent means being the guardian of your own morality and principles. By demonstrating that you act according to your convictions and not merely following the expectations or pressures of others, you gain a respect that transcends mere popularity. Your integrity becomes a beacon to others, highlighting your uniqueness and strength. Furthermore, independence fosters authenticity in your relationships. Instead of being a mere passive participant or follower in social dynamics, 
you position yourself as an individual who actively contributes to the well-being of others. This doesn't mean that you isolate yourself or reject the help of others. On the contrary, it means that you engage in relationships from a position of strength and self-awareness, capable of offering as much as you receive. Independence, as shaped by Stoicism, involves strong self-discipline, self-awareness and self-control. These are attractive qualities to those who value strong and integrous individuals. By cultivating these characteristics, you become an example to be followed, influencing others through your actions and attitudes. Additionally, being generous and open to allowing others to contribute to your life is an essential complement to independence. This combination of autonomy and receptivity creates a healthy balance, where you not only maintain yourself as a strong and self-sufficient individual, but also recognize the value of others' contributions. This enhances your attraction and respect in the eyes of others. Ultimately, the true richness of life lies in the depth and meaning of relationships and connections. By cultivating independence while remaining open to the contributions of others, you create a virtuous circle of mutual appreciation and respect. This not only strengthens your personal relationships, but also expands your impact and importance in the lives of others. In our journey to become more important and a priority to others, it's essential to prioritize our needs. This is key to learning to be more valued by others. Often, we end up sacrificing our own needs for the sake of others, leading to excessive exploitation and a lack of respect for ourselves. In today's society, there is often the promotion of the idea that we should always be available to everyone. However, this is not only unsustainable, but can also make others see you as an inexhaustible resource, draining your attention and valuable time. Stoic philosophy teaches us that we must take responsibility for our own life and well-being, establishing healthy boundaries and prioritizing our own needs before attending to others. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus expressed this profound idea. First, say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This statement encapsulates one of the fundamental principles of Stoicism, which has a significant impact on how we relate to ourselves and others. It prompts us to engage in an act of self-affirmation and self-knowledge before undertaking any action in life. This self-affirmation involves recognizing our needs, desires, and personal values, understanding that these need to be met before we can be truly valuable to others. The Stoic perspective, as you've described, offers a profound insight into achieving a life full of meaning and value, both for oneself and for others. This approach emphasizes that true value and virtue begin within us, with the cultivation of self-mastery and self-knowledge. Seeking self-approval, rather than constantly depending on external validation, is one of the cornerstones of Stoicism. This pursuit of self-approval is not an act of selfishness, but rather a recognition of the importance of self-acceptance and confidence in our own identity and goals. When we are secure in who we are and what we want, we project an authentic confidence that naturally attracts others. This confidence doesn't come from arrogance, but from a clear and honest understanding of our capabilities, limitations and values. Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers, emphasized the importance of aligning our actions with our intentions and words. It's not enough to just state our virtues and goals. We need to back up our words with consistent actions. This congruence between what we say and what we do is crucial for establishing our integrity and trustworthiness. When our actions reflect our values and authentic identity, we strengthen our value in the eyes of others. Consistency and integrity are highly valued and attract those who respect such qualities. Furthermore, by defining our values and goals through introspection and self-assessment, we create an internal compass that guides our decisions and actions. This internal guidance allows us to navigate the complexities of life, 
with greater clarity and purpose, strengthening our character and our ability to positively impact those around us. In summary, Stoic philosophy teaches us that to be truly valuable to others, we must first cultivate virtues within ourselves. This creates a foundation of authenticity and integrity, enabling us to live meaningfully and establish deep and valuable relationships with others. Here we reach the crucial point of this video. Don't center your life around others. In today's society, we often fall into the trap of putting others on a pedestal, losing our own direction. Don't make others the center of your life. Don't always be available. Value your time and attention, and you'll see how it makes you more valuable to others. Here we reach the crucial point of this video. Don't center your life around others. In today's society, we often fall into the trap of putting others on a pedestal, losing our own direction. Don't make others the center of your life. Don't always be available. Value your time and attention, and you'll see how it makes you more valuable to others. No one can harm you without your consent. Don't allow others to define or control you. This powerful quote is a reminder that, ultimately, we are the guardians of our inner peace and emotional well-being. In a world where critical opinions and judgments of others can be pervasive, it's essential to understand that we have the power to choose how they affect us. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate the virtue of selective indifference, meaning we must learn to discern what deserves our attention. Being masters of our minds and emotions is a call to self-reflection and authenticity. The authenticity of being who we are without fear of external judgment. When we internalize this stoic principle, we become masters of our own fate and our self-esteem and self-respect flourish, culminating in making you more valuable and important to others. Therefore, when facing challenges and criticisms in our lives, let's remember this powerful truth from Marcus Aurelius, no one can harm you without your consent. Stop initiating conversation. In a world where constant communication is the norm, this may seem challenging, but it has its roots in Stoic wisdom. Stoics like Epictetus reminded us of the importance of listening more than speaking. Allowing others to initiate conversation lets you learn more about them and yourself. When you're always ready to talk, you can appear anxious and sometimes self-centered, which often pushes people away. Patience and willingness to let others initiate conversations align with building genuine high-value relationships. This approach Focused on applying stoic principles in daily life is a powerful tool for personal growth and strengthening genuine and meaningful relationships. By incorporating concepts such as the creation of a fear of loss, practicing patience, moderating availability, maintaining a certain mystery, being open to receiving investments from others, prioritizing one's own needs, cultivating independence, and the ability to let others initiate interactions. You are positioning yourself for a more balanced and authentic life. It's important to highlight that the core of Stoicism goes beyond its impact on external relations. It promotes a profound transformation in the relationship we have with ourselves. By following these principles, you learn to find serenity amid chaos, make more thoughtful decisions, and face adversity with robust mental strength. These skills are essential for a fulfilling and meaningful life. If you are looking to deepen your knowledge and practice of Stoicism, an ebook on the subject can be a valuable resource. This reading can provide additional insights into how to cultivate these stoic virtues in your everyday life, helping you further develop your resilience, wisdom, and balance. Congratulations on your dedication to improving as a person and seeking knowledge that enriches not only your life, but also the lives of those around you. Your interest and effort in learning and applying these teachings are commendable. And of course, if you like this content, leaving a comment is a great way to share your reflections and experiences. 
If you're unsure about what to say, you might start by reflecting on how these stoic principles resonated with you and how you plan to apply them in your personal journey. Your feedback is valuable and can inspire others in their own journeys of self-improvement. Comment, I accept the challenge, so I know you've made it to the end. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and join us. Thank you for your attention. Until next time.